I have a shocking tip for you. Embrace the weight of slow play. <laughs> what? You may be thinking, Debbie, slow play has messed up some of my best rounds. It has ruined my day on the golf course. What do you mean embrace the weight? I know it sounds crazy. So pay attention. I have three big ideas for you. So you can turn the weight into an opportunity rather than disaster on the golf course. Big idea number one, control your reaction. There are things in life you can control and things you can't. When you come up upon slow play, all of a sudden it seems like everything halts on the golf course your initial reaction is actually in your control. The slow play is not. How you react to it is in your control. One thing you can do immediately is to take a deep breath. Mindset is key. I tell you something that helped me. Years ago, I started to do a meditation from a sports psychologist who was also licensed in hypnotherapy. It was a five minute success meditation that I would do in the morning and I would do in the evening. Every time I would come across slow play, I would take some of those deep breaths I learned in that meditation and it would help me to stay calm and then make the reaction that was going to enhance the rest of the day as opposed to make it distracting and allow me to get frustrated. Oh, you know what I did? I put, I made a success meditation for you. If you're interested, just go to the link below, click on it and you can have that five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. It'll help you handle any situation that comes up on the golf course. So big idea number one is to control your reaction, a deep breath or two or three, is something that will enhance it, especially if you've done meditation and a breath helps you to get into a deeper, calmer state of mind. Big idea number two, go to gratitude. And I don't mean about the slow play. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'm not saying, okay, I'm thankful for this slow play. I'm not saying that we're going to embrace it. We're going to use it as an opportunity. If we can distract ourselves from the slow play by going to gratitude, It'll give you a few moments to really appreciate what you have in life. It'll enhance your play going forward. Even if you have the best round of your life that's going right now, it'll get even better with gratitude. Take a few moments, look at the sky. Wow, look at that beautiful blue sky. Look at this beautiful golf course. I'm so thankful I'm out here. Thankful I'm here with my friends. Just in general, I'm thankful for my family. And if you can see, hear, and walk out there on a golf course, not everybody can. Fortunately, they can still play golf, but they may not have all of your senses. If you do, be thankful for the senses you have, that you can see, that you can walk, that you can hear the birds. Find things for which you can be thankful on the golf course. The studies show it. All the research says you cannot be stressed and frustrated and thankful at the same time. Go to gratitude. Big idea number three, engage in the moment and stay positive. What about sharing a laugh with your playing partners? What about having a conversation. Maybe you don't have time as the course is moving so fast. What if you engage a little bit in conversation with your playing partners? Maybe you'll learn something new. Maybe you'll share a laugh that enhances all the great neurochemicals as in dopamine, serotonin, and, and that puts you in a happy state of mind. What if then the next shot when the slow play moves, now you get into your pre-shot routine and you're actually in a better state of mind because you went to gratitude, because you took some deep breaths and you also engaged with your playing partners and shared positive thoughts and a laugh. Use these three tips 
and watch your golf game get even better as you embrace the weight of slow play.